How long will the first mission to Proxima Centauri last? Proxima Centauri is the closest star to our solar system. Still, it is so far away that with modern technology, it would take us tens of thousands of years to reach it. But if any space travel technology is capable of building a ship that can get out of the solar system and make our way to the stars, how long would it take us to reach Proxima Centauri? What would that spaceship be like? And who would be on board? Let's find out. It is essential to understand some details about Proxima Centauri. This star is 4.24 light years away from our Sun, meaning light takes more than four years to travel from there to Earth. It's a red dwarf star, much smaller and cooler than our Sun. Its glow is so dim that it cannot be seen with the naked eye, even from the darkest place on Earth. Despite this, the proximity of Proxima Centauri makes it a desirable target for space exploration. The answer to how long the mission will last depends on several factors, including the technology available, the speed of travel, and the time astronauts can spend in space before returning. Currently, the fastest speed at which we have sent a spacecraft is around 200,000 km per hour, which is only 0.02% of the speed of light. We would need to develop technology capable of much higher speeds to reach Proxima Centauri in a reasonable amount of time. One of the possible solutions for this is nuclear propulsion. This technology would use nuclear power to generate a large amount of momentum and speed, allowing the spacecraft to travel much faster than today. However, this technology is still in a very early stage of development, and it is not clear if it will be usable for a human crewed mission shortly. Another option is laser propulsion which uses laser beams to propel a spacecraft at incredibly high speeds. This technology has proven effective in laboratory tests and could be a viable option for a future manned crewed mission to Proxima Centauri. However, further testing and development are still needed before it can be used on a real mission. Once the propulsion technology has been decided, the travel time to Proxima Centauri will depend on the distance the spacecraft has to travel. Although Proxima Centauri is the closest star to us, it is still an enormous distance away. At the current speed of spacecraft, it would take us more than 6,000 years to get there. Generation Ships A generation ship is a spaceship designed to be habitable for multiple generations of humans. Rather than trying to travel to Proxima Centauri in one trip, the generation ship would allow astronauts to live and work in space for decades or even centuries while en route to their destination. On a generation ship, astronauts would spend their lives in space, raising families and working to maintain the ship. It would take several generations to complete the journey to Proxima Centauri, but this might be the only realistic way to reach the nearest star in the foreseeable future. The idea of a generation ship presents many challenges. One of the biggest concerns is maintaining the environment. Life on a spacecraft can be monotonous and stressful, and astronauts need a safe and comfortable environment to live and work for decades or centuries. Also, the spaceship would have to be self-sufficient regarding food, water, oxygen, and power supplies. Another challenge is the health of the astronauts. Humans are not designed to live in space for long periods, and astronauts can experience many health problems, including bone and muscle problems cardiovascular disease and mental health problems. Significant medical advances may be required to allow astronauts to live and work in space for decades or centuries. Considering all these factors, the duration of a human crewed mission to Proxima Centauri with a generation ship could be several generations, possibly centuries. Although it may seem like an impossible mission, space exploration has always been a challenge and an impressive achievement. If all the challenges are considered and possible solutions are considered, we might be able to achieve this goal in the future. Some Ideas in Fiction There are several examples of works of fiction that have explored the concept of a generation ship, including Interstellar, 2014 film, directed by Christopher Nolan. The generation ship in Interstellar called Cooper is described as a gigantic spaceship capable of holding thousands of people during a long journey to a new home. 
The spaceship is designed to run on advanced technology that enables interstellar propulsion, onboard agriculture, oxygen and water production, and power generation from renewable sources. The ship is a massive structure consisting of several rotating rings connected by bridges. These rotating rings are necessary to create artificial gravity and allow crew members to live and work comfortably on board. The ship is also equipped with an advanced communication system, which allows crew members to keep in touch with Earth and other spacecraft in space. Regarding the feasibility of building a generational ship like Cooper in real life, it's important to note that we don't have the technology to build a ship of this size and complexity. Building a generation ship would require significant advances in interstellar propulsion, technology, power generation, food production and space engineering technology. However, some experts believe that with enough funding and resources, it might be possible to build a generational spaceship. Aurora, novel from 2015, written by Kim Stanley Robinson, this science fiction novel tells the story of a generational ship called Aurora that travels to a distant star searching for a new home for humanity. The novel explores the crew's technical, social, and psychological challenges as they struggle to survive in a confined environment. The Generation Spaceship Aurora in Kim Stanley Robinson's novel of the same name is described as a smaller ship than Interstellar's Cooper, carrying about 2,000 people on board. The ship is designed to travel at around 10% the speed of light, which would take it to its destination in about 150 years. The Aurora ship is designed as a hollow cylinder with two sections separated by a rotating ring that provides artificial gravity. The upper section of the ship is used for food production and crew housing, while the lower section houses the engines and life support systems. Regarding the feasibility of building a spaceship like Aurora in real life, it is essential to note that we still do not have the necessary technology to build a generation ship that can travel at a speed of 10% that of light. Interstellar propulsion remains a significant challenge in space exploration, and we currently do not have the technology to propel a spacecraft at these speeds. However, with enough funding and resources, developing the technology needed to build something like this may be possible. Most Viable Technologies the two propulsion technologies that could be used in the first human crewed missions to Proxima Centauri are solar sails and pulsed nuclear propulsion. Both have advantages and disadvantages that must be considered before choosing the right technology for the mission. Solar sails are a method of propulsion that uses the pressure of sunlight to accelerate a spacecraft. A solar sail is a large, lightweight structure made of reflective materials that capture energy from sunlight and use it to push the craft forward. The solar sail does not need fuel, making it lighter and more economical than other propulsion methods. However, the solar sail is more suitable for long-distance exploration missions that do not require high speeds. Also, the solar sail must be exposed to sunlight to function, which can be challenging in deep space. Pulse nuclear propulsion is a method of propulsion that uses the energy released by a controlled nuclear explosion to accelerate a spacecraft. This method uses a small amount of nuclear material in a controlled explosion that pushes the ship forward. Pulse nuclear propulsion is one of the most efficient forms of propulsion and can accelerate a ship to incredibly high speeds. However, it also presents significant risks and safety concerns due to the nature of nuclear technology. Although both technologies have advantages and disadvantages, several propulsion technologies will likely be used simultaneously for the first human crewed mission to Proxima Centauri. For example, the spaceship could use solar sails for most of the voyage, then switch to pulsed nuclear propulsion for higher speeds during the final phase. It might also be possible to develop even more advanced propulsion technologies in the future that we don't know about today. How long will the trip take? Journey times to Proxima Centauri will vary significantly depending on the speed being used for the spacecraft, but in theory it would be enough to reach 10% of the speed of light to reduce the travel time from several thousand years to only 44 years. 10% of the speed of light is the goal. With that speed, the travel time to Proxima Centauri would be much more realistic. 
although it means that astronauts would have to spend more than four decades in space before reaching their destination. 